spectrum is everybody's business. It's all around us, and it's these airwaves that allow us to send signals to a device, like a mobile phone. You don't have to be a scientist to be smart about spectrum. Spectrum refers to radio waves, some with higher frequency and some with lower. Different technologies can be used to send information over them. All of the possible frequencies put together make up the spectrum. Now, everything that communicates wirelessly, like your television, smartphone or baby monitor, uses a small slice of the spectrum. With me so far? You can think of these different spectrum slices, or bands, as roads, with all sorts of data passing back and forth. Each type of signal travels in its own special lane. So with all this traffic, how do signals avoid bumping into each other? That's where government plays a role. Regulatory authorities have to decide which parts of the spectrum are used for which type of service and how the spectrum can be used to deliver the greatest benefit to society. People everywhere are benefiting. Consider how far we've come. The first SMS was sent in 1992. Today, there are more text messages sent each day than there are people on the planet. Every three seconds, someone buys a new device to connect to the internet. And the mobile industry supports a larger economic ecosystem than we ever imagined, generating one trillion dollars per year. You see, people love to communicate, and they want to live a connected life. Just consider all the kinds of mobile devices we have today in health, transportation, utilities, education, even e-government. And new devices are being introduced all the time with immense social benefit. The thing is, Spectrum is a limited resource and roads can only handle so much traffic. That's why mobile operators are continually investing in technologies and infrastructure to handle more traffic with the same amount of spectrum. But higher demand means we still need more lanes. One solution is to free up spectrum reserved for older technologies to accommodate the new. But new roads take careful planning and years of negotiation, and they don't stop at national borders. That's why we have the ITU a United Nations body tasked with building international consensus for harmonized spectrum around the globe. To realize the vision of a connected life, we need more roads, and we need to get the word out. Spectrum is not just for the experts. Spectrum is everybody's business, 